Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Exciting times. It is 11-11, ooh, make a wish, on Saturday morning. In the thick of hurricane? We did not get hit that hard, as usual. Everybody always freaks out about it. Yes, it was incredibly windy last night. Yes, it was incredibly rainy. It's sunny right now. Uh, the rain is pretty much done, according to the forecast. We'll see how that goes. Um, we did not experience anything too terrible. It was funny, after I was chatting with my mother-in-law online, telling her that eh, everything's fine, and she was like, hope you don't lose power. We lost power. <laughs> funny. But we lost power literally like that. It blinked out. Everything just flickered and came back on immediately. And we didn't lose it again after that. You know, obviously I had to reset some stuff. It shut my freaking Mac Mini off. Uh, I don't understand why that keeps happening. I have to figure that out because I had that damn thing plugged into my battery backup. And it seems like the battery backup gets knocked out and turns off. And it just freaking shuts everything off. And then I sit there and try to turn the Mac Mini back on. It won't come back on. It's because I've lost, like I have to turn the freaking battery backup back on. And that's not the way that's supposed to work. So I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. Redo whatever I've got to redo or get another one um, that actually works. You know where we're going right now, right? I've decided that uh, it's a perfect time now because of the rain and no thunder and lightning, which we didn't really have any. N neither one of us noticed any thunder or lightning throughout this. Um, but everything should be done now. It's just going to be a little bit windy. No more rain. But I'm going to go out and see the aftermath, at least at the boardwalk. I'm going to get as close as I can. I don't know if they have it closed off. I doubt it at this point. But I'm going to go down, and the surf should be cool. It usually is. You know, so obviously I've got, I'm going to film, and I'm going to take some pictures. Unless it's boring, in which case I'll show you real quick that it's lame, and then we'll go have coffee or something. Let's hit up the boardwalk, if we can, and, and see what we see. <laughs> okay, kids. Holy shit. It is ser ooh, seriously windy. It's literally blowing me around like a little rag doll. So this, even with dynamic stabilization on, is going to be a little choppy. Oh, yes. I can see the ocean. She looks angry. Yay. All right. All right. I got to, God, fuck. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to walk through this wind tunnel now. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so as you can see, a lot of the sand gets blown up here. I doubt that it gets washed up here, but here's the ocean, babies. <laughs> okay, so I took off the dynamic and the active stabilization. I'm only on standard just so I can get some more screen real estate. I have a 20 to 70 lens on here, which is acting like a wind sail. So sorry, it's getting all blown around. You can see my flowing anime locks. Oh, that was stupid of me to do. Anywho, puh, this is the sea, sort of post-hurricane. I mean, I guess it's still a hurricane, but we're just not getting any of the hurricane-y shit now. It's all done. But yes, still incredibly windy. I'm sure that I'm going to be like crunching on sand in my mouth and teeth for like the next day. It almost got to me. <laughs> oh, I love shit like this. God, I love Virginia Beach. Another wind tunnel. Okay, oh, that was fun. But also, I'm gonna have to now thoroughly clean this gear. Because I'm covered in salt spray. One of the reasons I don't like lenses that move physically in and out, outside, instead of ooh, an inside one. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> All right, that's pointless. I guess I'm just going to eat my hair until I get back to the Forerunner. Okay, 
So I just sat here and wiped all my gear down as, as best I could. That salt water spray gets all over everything. It's a bitch to get off. And I thought that I had a bunch of the Zeiss lens cleaners in the vehicle, and I don't. Guess what I need to put in the vehicle? And I need to have some in my bag. Ill-prepared monkey. I thought for sure that I had a bunch of them in here. All I got is a bunch of alcohol swaps, and I'm not wiping any of this gear down with alcohol. There's nothing worse than salt water and sand all over your high-end photography video gear. But that was a lot of fun. Now, the last time I did like Hurricane Schmurricane, where I actually went out into the surf, and this was way down, you know, way down here. I'm not doing that this time. You know, that was a few years ago. I think that was 2019. So that was a long time ago, but this was fun enough. And as usual, there's always people out in the surf because people are crazy. I think I'm just going to uh, go to three ships and then maybe I'll have lunch instead of just coffee for, for lunch. The only kind of shots I do. Okay, so uh, obviously Bean has been gotten. I did a shot there. My stomach's much better now. Um, so I'm back to ruining it with lots of caffeine. But I had a shot there and I got my uh, iced peach matcha with almond milk. And then I got her oh, peach pungo latte. Now, since I got this, uh, and I didn't post anything about this yesterday because I filmed, but I didn't post. But I did pre-order the iPhone 15 Pro Max to my shock. It actually showed up yesterday. I What I did, and the reason that I ended up getting mine yesterday on launch day, rather than at the end of November, like many people, even like a half an hour into the, into the order process, was that I pre-pre-ordered it, which means that all I had to do once pre-order opened up that uh, like last Friday was literally click complete order. When I first went in there at eight o'clock on the dot, the site was down and it was down for about, I'll say 20 minutes before they finally actually opened up. And as soon as they opened up, I clicked on it, boom, and I went through and I didn't have any problems. Now, one thing I was going to do, though, because I got a 256 gig model and I thought to myself, you know what? This is like the last phone that I'm going to get for a while and my usual denim, unless there is catastrophic failure. But because I, I traded in and I got to go take care of that today, that's what I got to do. I, I traded in my old phone, which was already paid for. I didn't have that much to pay for it to pay outright rather than to do the usual buy and pay a, a little bit over like 500 years. So I, I just bought it outright. And I thought, you know what? I should just go ahead and get like the one terabyte model and be done with it and just have like a huge ass hard drive on it. But then I was watching an iJustine video and she had, I noticed like, a, a, looked like a thumb drive plugged into her phone. And I was like, what is that? She did briefly mention it. She said, this is just an OWC drive because you can record to an external drive now. And I was like, hmm. So I ended up going to the site and it's a new product. It's a new little thumb drive. It's like that big that have USB-C on, on one side and then a USB-A on the other so that you can plug it into whatever the hell you want. It can plug into the bottom of the new i15 Pro and Pro Max and you can record video or pictures or whatever to it if you want. So rather, like when I went in to try to up the phone from the 256 that I had pre-pre-ordered to one terabyte, it kept coming up with an error. And I was like, all right, I don't want to screw myself out of this phone. So I just got the 256 model and then I got two one terabyte external drives because that was the only thing that concerned me was that I do a lot of videos and a lot of pictures on my phones. And I didn't want to just blast out my hard drive right off the bat and have to keep taking shit off. Well, now I don't have to put anything on it at all, I can go right to the external drive. I'll link that in the video, the, the OWC drives. Do yourself a favor. They're really not that expensive. And I mean, hell yeah, even if you don't use them for your phone, they're, they're amazing that you can just plug them into whatever. And I've had small drives before that had the lightning connector on it. Yeah, I know, not the greatest. That I had a bunch of movies and cartoons on, and I used to use that with my iPad and just plug it into my iPad, especially when I flew a lot so that I could just plug it into my iPad on the plane and, and then I wouldn't have to have Wi-Fi or I wouldn't have to pay for any of that shit and I could just plug it in there and, and I could watch a movie or a cartoon and, and it was great. So we're gonna go drop off Bean and then I need to grab my old phone and go to the mall and go to the Apple store and turn that bitch in. Okay, that was actually painless. 
I did have to stand in line, but only maybe 10 minutes. The thought never crossed my mind that today or yesterday was product launch <laughs> and that, you know, the Apple store would be batshit crazy today with people stammering to get in there and buy shit. The guy had me in and out in, in like another five. So no worries there. That's done. Now I'm going to go to Best Buy to see if I can't get a, another USB-C cable to put in here to power the new phone. Because right now I have an older Apple Lightning cable ran here, which now won't work because it's USB-C. We're gonna head to Best Buy and then see where the rest of the day takes us. Okay, another mission accomplished. I went to Best Buy and I bought USB-C cable. I got two for the just a slightly over the price of one. Nice braided cable. And I already plugged it in to verify that it worked. And then I cut the old one out because I have everything zip tied. So there's not just cable flopping everywhere like it is right over there. And ran it and zip tied it and I'm good to go now. All right, kids. So today was fun and efficient. Like I said, we got up, we had breakfast. It was supposed to be shitty all day and hurricane -y, and it just wasn't. By 11, 12 o'clock, it had pretty much dried up, no more rain, and eventually the sun came out. Did have fun down on the boardwalk, except that all of my stuff got coated with that uh, salt water spray. So again, I will be cleaning all that stuff thoroughly here in a little bit. So I have three hours now before Sven Gulli and uh, I think I ought to be able to cut this video together, which you're watching now, which means I did before Sven Gulli starts. Okay, that's pretty much all I've got, you know, as if that wasn't enough. I had a lot to do and, and had a lot of fun today. So, all right, I'm gonna stop blathering on and I'm just gonna end this right now and go in and edit and, and then ease into my Saturday evening. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.